Welcome back everybody to Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 15 and this could be the episode where everything goes horribly wrong. Uh, we ended the last episode with an attack by wargs, well one warg anyway, there was a group of four that had uh, popped up near the colony and I'd been considering hunting one of them if I could get it separate, but I hadn't done anything, hadn't actually started. And then suddenly, at the very end of the last episode, let me find out where all the wargs are, uh, that just hauled off and took a bite out of poor Kiki, our starting Yorkie. So we've got a warg here, and what I'm worried about is if I attack one, the pack will come after me. Um, there's one up here, that's two, there's three, there's probably a fourth one around here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. There were four. There he is. Okay, so... They are at least somewhat spread out. Let's go ahead and recruit. Get you in, uh, we'll get you here where you can get inside. We're going to wake Eco up and recruit you. Move you in there. Now everybody does have a weapon now. So we're going to go ahead and get everybody. Yeah, you got a short bow. Uh, we'll have you standing by just in case the rest of them do attack. Oh! Kiki died! Kiki got eaten! By the war who is ignoring everybody. Well, okay, task open fired without being told. Okay, well that was easy enough. Uh, and the others have not come to attack. Poor Kiki! I don't like wargs. Uh, warg revenge. Okay, now the question is I can't tell right now. Okay, it was just a war. Okay, so we can take these one at a time. We're going to uh, remove the uh, warg threat. They killed poor Kiki! Okay, there's two down. What are you doing, Tosca? I haven't un... Okay, there's three down. Fourth one's down here somewhere. Okay, that one's wandered far enough away. I'm not going to worry about him. Okay, we that went a lot, e lot easier than I thought it would. I think we took one hit. Uh, maybe. Anybody injured? I don't see any injuries. 
He goes back to sleep. And we've got some fresh meat. <laughs> yeah, nobody took any injuries. Very good. Okay. I was really worried that uh, uh, the uh, wargs were going to be a little bit stronger than they appeared to have been. They did take a, a bite out of Pete. Uh, wow, missing body parts. What they do, bite his head off? Let's see. Uh, shout out the right eye. That's old. Uh, bitten off. Right, left, rear, left leg. Bitten off. Right, front leg. Bitten off. Front, left leg. <laughs> oh, poor Kiki. And that was Eco's, Eco's uh, bonded animal, too. So, we're going to have a minus eight for... 19 days in a little pain joy deprived ugly de environment disturbed sleep yeah want to sleep with Brian yeah we're gonna work on that well you gotta make the bed first okay well we got more leather out of that if nothing else uh, we got a mad animal now uh, a wild boar okay here it comes it's a ways away I'll just keep an eye for it to come in the picture and then we'll deal with it. So all of the boar, uh, wargs have been butchered. We'll use Tosca, I think, to uh, deal with the boar. Her shooting is the second... Uh, that might actually be the... No, Eco's got a 12 or so shooting, so... Tosca's going to be our second best shooter. There it is, so we will recruit. And that's it. She actually got hit. Let's see. Uh, she got a scratch. Blood loss trivial. Okay. Well, that was too. Now, now that was an ev that was an actual event driven. I'm not sure what happened with the works. It wasn't event driven. They'd been in the area for a while. They just decided they maybe they were hungry. Maybe that's what it was. Driven by hunger, and Kiki was close. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, poor Kiki, we will miss you. Our second starter, if you want to count Kiki as a starter, because Kiki was a starter. I wanted to take a look. I mentioned this earlier. Hmm. Now at one point, uh, Lucky, this female Yorkie, was uh, pregnant, and uh, well, there's no pups, so don't know what happened. Have to go back and, and look at episode 7 or 8, I think, is when I discovered it. Okay, Brian is back to researching, and Browning is back to crafting the first of the jackets, first of the two jackets that we decided we needed. Uh, that is slow going. Uh, probably need an electric um, tailor bench to improve that. I believe we have one. That's hand tailoring, electric tailoring. 40% normal speed. Uh, no, can't work with electricity without electricity for 40%. So without electricity, it's the same as a uh, basic tailoring bench. Tasca needs to go get healed. Minor break risk, eco, yep. Nothing we can do about that right now, or very little anyway. Uh, what are you doing now, Brownie? Oh, you're going to go visit the grave of your f dear friend Parsons. we skim the Yorkie? We did. Oops. I don't think I meant to do that this time around, but we did. Um, I keep forgetting to open these. 
How much uh, materials do we have? We only have 68 warg skin. That's not quite enough for a jacket. In fact, we're going to fall just short of a jacket. I need to go hunt another warg. Okay. You convinced me. Where's that warg at? I'll wait till Eagle wakes up. She's got the long range weapon. Hauling. We still only have one heater done. God, Eagle, wake up. You got too much stuff to build to be asleep. I still have some conduit to build. I need you to finish your bed. Uh, we have some heaters still waiting to be built somewhere. I think that's a heater there. We need steel mined. Maybe I do need another miner. Um, uh, eco, I guess you can mine. Repair, construct, hunt, cook. Hey, you know what? We're going to put you on mining. You're not going to be the best at it, but you'll improve over time. Okay, Eco's awake. Eco's going to go have herself a bite to eat, and then we're going to recruit her and uh, go hunt that last warg, which will give us enough skin for that last jacket that we're going to need between now and the winter. If I can find the warg, that looks like a bear. Now, if anything just attacked out of the blue, I would have expected that bear to do it, but no, it was the warg that we had left left go. Maybe they heard me talking about hunting them. I don't know. There's the warg. Okay, eco. Oh, Tosca's asleep now. So you're on your own, eco. I guess I can do it this way. Hunt. What are you doing now? I'm gonna find a bad place to hunt from. That's what you're gonna do. No? What the hell are you doing, Eco? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it manually. From right around there, it looks like. Out of range. Okay, let's get you up here where you can have some bit of safety. Looks like they move at about the same speed. <laughs> Where's it going? Tasco, wake up. You're needed. There we go. Uh, bite. 
scratch. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was... could have been worse. Could have been better, maybe, but everybody was asleep and I really didn't want to wake them up. I ended up having to. The survival rifle is nice, but it is slow, so... That's going to give us enough leather to complete a second jacket. Now all I have to do is actually do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set his crafting to a priority. We've got enough food for now. Eagle can continue cooking when he when we're low on food until uh, browning is done. And with Eco being the only one awake, we'll go ahead and bump it up. And she's in the hospital bed anyway, so we need everybody to wake up. It is uh, 27 outside. I imagine, let's see, inside is 47, so they're going to have slept in the cold penalties in a couple spots here. Browning's probably okay. He's okay. Brian's probably okay. Yep. Okay, wake up, everybody. Okay, Browning is going to go eat. No, he's going to go heal. Okay, good. Brian's going to go eat. Now, Browning is the doctor, right? Or at least one of the top two. He's got a five. Actually, I think Tasco picked up medicine, didn't she? Yeah, she's our new, our only newcomer to the colony so far. I take that back. Brian was our our random newcomer. Tasca was the one we traded a prisoner for. Okay, uh, so Browning, once he's done doctoring, should go ahead and deal with uh, crafting. Dealt with the bite marks, okay. Now he's going to eat first. Uh, Brian's research must be getting up there. He's got a six now. Well, for having not started with anybody above a two maybe research we're doing okay why are you cooking browning you shouldn't be cooking you should be crafting is priority why are you cooking stop cooking he's gonna just continue cooking until we've got 24 meals he's going to ignore what I've got him set to do oh well only has to do one more. That gave, gave us a bunch of warg meat, didn't it? Major break risk. That would be eco, right? Yep. What are you doing now, eco? Oh, you're off mining. Good. We need that steel, so that's fine. Now you're going to actually construct. That's even better. Eco is fully healed. Now what are you doing? Now you're going to go sleep. You just slept away your uh, time in the hospital bed. Do, do we not have any kibble? We do have kibble. Why are you feeding the dog raw meat? I got him successfully trained anyway. And now you're going to go craft. Okay, that's fine. Get that, that done. <coughs> so we now have... We only have 68 warg fur. We should have more than that. It's just not in the uh, not in the stockpile. That's all. Okay, we're good. Okay, just about halfway through our first jacket. After we get the two jackets done, I'm going to have to craft a bunch of hats just because everybody's wearing tattered hats, and it's giving them the tattered apparel penalty. Most of it's due to the hats. Not all of it, but most of it. The hats should be easy to craft. Uh, where'd Eco go? Mining again? Oh, eating. Okay, or relaxing. Whatever. Whoa. We've got a rifle here just sitting there. Did everybody except for the bowman have a rifle, right? Yes. Go pick up a rifle. It's not much. But it's better than the bow, I think. 
Okay, browning. Three quarters done. First jacket. Eco's gonna cook. Uh, where's we got some steel mine just not picked up. Now she's down here mining steel. Okay. Compacted steel. This is compacted steel, right? Yeah, it's all compacted steel. Okay, that's going to give us some steel in reserve. We need to get these last heaters done. Okay, there's our power conduit eco finished off. Next should be the heaters. We should, uh, we should get that bed done, too. Tosca, okay, everybody's asleep except for eco who is hauling. Let's see if she builds a heater. Looks like she might build this heater here. Maybe. Yeah, components. She's going to build this heater here, so that'll be the heater for the production area. Now, again, we'll have to upgrade these two. Um... Oh, wait. Those are electric heaters. Oh. I thought they were wood burners. Ooh, I did not know that. Power use is high. Um, gee. Okay, we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on our power over the over this coming month. So we might need another solar panel. Okay, let's set our heater temperatures. Uh, 70 degrees is good. There they go. We're building the bed now. Okay, let me. Uh, we're gonna set this for eco and Brian, right? Yeah. Okay. So Eco and Brian now have their their own bed, or their bed, their shared bed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Eco's going to do some repair. And okay, I think indoor temperature is 49 right now. That's a pretty big area, though. Indoor temperature is 70. I need to tear this wall down once Tosca wakes up. Somebody remind me. Indoor temperature 63 should be good. Indoor temperature is 60 is probably good. Yes. Okay, the p friend Parsons died should be, no, it's still got uh, five days. Uh, beginning of winter, that friend Parsons dying debuff will go away. Okay, more mining, that's good. That's fine. How much time left on our park of 40, or yeah, our jacket 47. Need to finish that jacket. Again, I think we'll be okay for the first part of winter. Outdoor temperature is 18 at night in the uh, late, mid-late fall. Uh, temperate region uh, average temperature is only around 17 so that means there's going to be a lot of time I can actually be outside uh, even without the jacket for some of them but we've got them anyway just in case it'll certainly make even the cold days okay Brian must have just got back from visiting the grave and now he is going to meditate okay okay Tosca is awake let's tear these walls down uh, deconstruct Give her a slightly larger room. We'll take care of that. You're probably going off to mine. Browning is asleep. Brian is going to go back to research. That's fine. Okay, walk speed is 100%. Walk speed is 100%. So it doesn't really seem to matter what type of floor we have. Okay, hey, we're just about done with gun turrets. Well, we're going to need the steel for it, so that's good that he's off doing it. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to go visit the grave. Yep, then get back to work, please. Okay, there's our walls done, so that makes this a slightly larger room. Let's take a quick look at room stats. I know they're not great. Minus 29, mediocre, wealth. Uh, theirs is a wealth, mediocre, space ugly beauty dirty because yeah we don't have anybody that can actually dedicate to cleaning we could do some more statues if we had somebody enough workers which we don't have so <laughs> we could use another colonist here I'm surprised we haven't had 
uh, crash landing or, you know, a pod drop. Um, we haven't had but, what, one, two, I think we've had three raids now. I bet year two is going to be uh, lots of fun. Okay, the only debuff problem we have right now is the Tattered Apparel. And as soon as he gets jackets done... Okay, you've visited the grave. He's gone. Say goodbye. There you go. Now you're going to go eat. <laughs> we just can't get him to work. Um, heat tolerant, greedy, incapable of... Yeah, there's no... Um, other than the fact that well, he can't move very well because he's got no foot, no left foot, which is why I kept him on the inside type tasks, but he keeps finding ways to go outside and that's slowing everything down. Well, after he eats, he should finish off. Now, this is going to be a problem. Let's see. She's going to sleep. Uh, is that under restrictions? She's going to sleep from 9 to 4. He's going to sleep from 2 to 5. Yeah, that's not going to work out very well. Let's change this around a little bit. Let's have her oops, sleep from... Let's just change this, and it's Brian, right? Uh, Brian, yeah. So let's go back, and for Brian, let's have you sleep. Let's have a little bit of overlap here. Three, six, eight. Four, five, six, nine. I only need eight hours, right? Let's do that. And three, six, eight. Okay. Let's give them a little bit of time together at least. Uh, minor break risk. Eco, I pre oh no, browning. Really? Browning? Why are you break? Needs. Uh, no impressive bedroom. Ugly environment. No, oh, the disturbed sleep. Okay. That'll go away. Not worried about it. Let's see if we can finish um, that jacket. Uh, Brian's very close to... It's a race. Are we going to finish the research or the jacket first? I, my money's on the jacket. How much uh, research time is left? It doesn't say there. Uh, you only, oh yeah, you have a hundred and eleven left there. Yeah, it's easily going to be the jacket. Hey, we got a jacket done. Okay, that'll be three people equipped for outdoor. And Brian's going to go pick up the jacket right away. Good. Where are you going, Browning? Oh, okay, hauling wood, that's fine. That's acceptable. You're going to fuel the stove and probably go cook. We need this last of this leather hauled to the stockpile so it is recognized as um, available for making a jacket. It's 23 food, 24 food. What are you doing, Tosca? You're picking up the jacket that somebody else just took off because it was not suitable? How's our growth? Uh, only 54% grown, 35% grown. Okay, there we go. The leather is in the stockpile. We have 90 leather. That is enough for another jacket. Get to work on it, Browning. You're probably going to... What are you doing? Are you off to bed? You are off to play horseshoes. No, you're off to train Lucky. Failed. Why are you, I don't know why you're training. Uh, that's not a high priority, is it? That's a priority three. Uh, 
off to eat. Brian's off to bed. We've got some mining going on, maybe. Yep. Tasca and, and Eco both doing some mining. That gives us, uh, wow. Uh, we can't fit everything on one screen. Let's uh, collapse the raw food. Uh, we have, oh, hey, looky there. We've got granite blocks and marble blocks in the stockpile. We've got no steel in the stockpile still. And that is the notification that it is the end of the session. Uh, okay, well, once again, a little bit more progress done. Uh, we should have some happy colonists in Eco and Brian. Obviously, Eco's not going to be so happy because of the loss of the bonded animal. Um, but we've got the, the two of them that, uh, whoa. Oh, you must be treating asthma here. I was going to say, why are you taking off, uh, taking up medicine? Um, we've got Eco and Brian who have, have made it up. Uh, we'll have to do a marriage ceremony for them. Maybe we'll build a marriage spot for them and, and do a marriage. Uh, s I don't know if they're at that point yet, uh, but we'll definitely build a marriage spot in that session if I think about it. Uh, gun turrets are just about done, so we'll have a little bit more defensives uh, set up and some more research started. Uh, once again, thanks for joining everybody. I hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, as usual, leave any comments, suggestions, questions you have in the uh, box below, and I will take care of them. I'll give you a shout out if you leave your name. Uh, Eagle so far has been a fairly regular uh, to the uh, set series, so hope he's still enjoying. And I think I'm actually at the point we can do it in this game, right? Let me verify before I say something. Uh, I, yeah, really? Can't name colonists here once they're here. I was gonna say I will start uh, renaming colonists for the viewers if I can. There we go, we can. So Eagle, I know you're probably still watching. Uh, let me know which Collins you want to be and uh, you will be featured in game. Uh, that will be it again. Once again, thanks for joining everybody. I hope you're enjoying it and we will catch you next time.